two of you to step off for a second. Okay. Anna okay. and and uh, and, and we're going to bring you back later. Have to okay. leave. Yeah. Yes. And we'll tell you why. More information later. It's a tease. We'll t tell you why in a couple of minutes. So shall I introduce the vice president? Yes. Okay. So vice president. No. No. Nope. Okay. Shall we dance? Let's do a tap dance. Let's do a tap dance. <laughs> This is going to be a major news story any minute now. Yeah. What happened is that uh, Sonny and Anna both apparently tested positive for COVID. No matter how hard we try, uh, these things happen. They probably have a breakthrough case and they'll be okay, I'm sure, because they're both vaccinated up the wazoo. You know, a lot yeah. of vaccines. So I have an update. So just oh, everything we have an update. Everything's just being done to be as safe as humanly possible. So what we're going to try to do now is do an interview with the vice president remotely right in a couple minutes. So. That's the plan. We're going to talk to her from another room. Oh. So we're going to talk to her remotely. Even though she's here. Yes. Even though she's yeah. in the building. Just to be safe. Okay, that's good enough for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. I just want to say, I hope that you're in a safe spot right now. We did everything we could to make sure that you were safe because we value you so much. Well, thank you, Joy, and to everyone. And listen, I, 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 Sonny and Anna are strong women, and I know they're fine, but it really also does speak to... The fact that they're vaccinated and vaccines really make all the difference because otherwise yes. we would be concerned about hospitalization and worse. They are double vaccinated. Yeah. Throughout the weekend, this was happening too, and I am thrilled to report that Sonny and Anna's Friday results turned out to be false positives and everyone is safe, <laughs> healthy, and COVID free. <laughs> okay? No one's got it. It was a mistake of some sort. So, Brian, where is he? I'm here. How are you holding up now? Uh, no, uh, I'm fine. It was just an unbelievable set of circumstances. And we found out moments before we came back on the air. And in that moment, all I could think of was that we had to keep the host safe and we had to keep the vice president mm -hmm. safe. She could not walk out no matter what. And that led to some really awkward television that I'd like to have back if I could. Um, but I, I really want to acknowledge and apologize to, to Sonny and Anna because in the midst of all this chaos, they were put in this, uh, this position where they had this information put out on television. And then to make it even worse, it turned out not to be true. Well, we, you know, we're, 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 we're sent to the back, uh, to the backstage. Uh, the vice president was in a separate room. We had had okay. no contact with her during the entire day. Right. And, and so they're trying to figure out what is the safe way to conduct this interview and how do we do this? Right. And I've got to say, her team rolled with it. Uh, you know, it was crazy. Yeah. She ended up doing the, the, uh, the interview from that room right. via remote yeah, with earbuds. Her, uh, in her ears while we were locked up in our dressing rooms. For my results to be um, released publicly before um, I even knew what was going on, um, before they were verified, before I was tested again and again. And there are real life ramifications when things like that happen. My husband is a surgeon, as everyone knows, and um, he was in the operating room and had to be pulled out of the operating room. My child's school had to be notified and she had to be pulled out. Uh, my parents had to be rushed to be tested, and um, my son was notified at school as well.